close quarters with a P250. Anything is possible. Anything is possible! Mid-air headshot. Takes down Olaf, and now a 1v2. Again, Guardian Key making it happen this time. It's the quick scope! This is unreal! He has no idea where Crims is playing from, though, and that's the one thing going Fnatic's way. Crims stomping around, though, and Guardian's heard it. Can he get the shot? It's going to be point blank. Boom! Insane! Got one Crims. Whoa, sees. Where is this coming from? The big entry kill last round. The two key kills to make the difference for your team here. Now that bomb can get planted. They have control of Courtyard. Oh, what? God! JW! That had to be the one pixel to take down Gondian. <laughs> round, maybe this could be it. Dennis will pick up one kill, and there's JW with the body shot to Edward to take him down, but it's just not enough at this point in time. There's Olaf with a C set 75. That's a nice catch. Simple down before he hits the ground. Flusher getting a headshot as well. And now it's a 2 on 2, 30 seconds. The bomb is right in front. Flusher, can he get another one? No, he's going to miss the chance. And Olaf Meister sneaking into middle. He's just got 18 bullets here. <laughs> Does tap away and drop Guardian. And now it's a one on one. Flamey versus Olaf. This would be a huge round for Fnatic if they could somehow pick it up. They've had a very rough first half. There's the flashbang. Flamey trying for the bomb plant. And Olaf coming in from the other side, but he actually stops the plant for a moment. That could be lethal now. Olaf can sneak even closer. He fakes it again, and Olaf is not buying it. Now there's only four seconds, and he's going to be finally able to get the bomb down. Olaf. Very patient, maybe too much. Oh my god! All of my stuff! I like unsilencing the USP. And you have more ammo in reserve, you don't run out with the PT-1000. Well, that's true. Shocks in the corner has gotten into middle at bench, but they see him. It's not as protected as it used to be, so Ali would have seen his arm, whether he knew he was there or not, when he swung wide into the locks position. The bottom of middle. Bodies tagged as well, so this actually turns around quite significantly. It's not necessarily clear cut in the fact that it's a one man advantage still for G2 if body gets found. It all goes level. They're going to go back over toward B, however. Crossfire set. NBK. Ooh, towards CT. Who gets a great first shot responded by Alu. And that'll send them in toward the site. It's Kenny in the back. Great right shot again from Alu. He's up to three. And he's looking to hold off towards CT, but the rotations will come from Banana. Apex on his own and early. There's your P2000. He's going to be alone and has to do it all because even though Body's in this still, he's got 6 HP and he's not yet nearby to even trade. So Apex has to be a little bit careful. He at least gets information before Body arrives, which will serve to benefit him in the situation. But Alu's got four. He's up to it. Body's low. Alu could find an ace in the immediate opening round, and he will. They still should be absolutely fine. They're sticking together and making sure they have trade potential here. Kiyoshima leading the way towards a side, but he's going to find the Deagle, and they're by themselves. Where's the refrag at this point? They're being clumsy, but Nico will find the next kill. But the AK picked up in pit as well. Nico gets the shot on Shocks. Ooh. Thankfully they got MBK, but Kenny's arrived. Two immediately on the P250 bomb down in the A site. Alu has to go up versus up, but neither with it. It's going to be an AK-47 for Alu and the P250 for Kenny, and Kenny's trying to flank him. He's trying to rotate around, just gets around the corner at quad before he arrives. Oh, this is perfect from Kenny. He yep. gets the timing right here. It's going to be down to like a second if he gets it. Here it is, oh. and he gets the dink! Turns, but comes back again. The repeat, because Alu tried to spray in, and Kenny's timing is perfect. It's a perfect position, but he does look away momentarily. Nico's going to be rather bothered by that. Arrogant from above, one directly below. Needs to check it as he continues to walk out. Meanwhile, he does get body. Kenny's going to try and hold off. Rain jumping. Ooh, stops up the jump. That throws Kenny off, but not the no-scope. And it's down to another one versus one. One HP as well. The nade on bounces oh. the wrong way. Bounces it. It's a good grenade and an even better shot from Kerrigan to take down Zero. FaZe have the money to continue to buy. Kerrigan is actually going to push aggressively. Dead Fox, he will hear this. He hears the scope as well, but Bondic still goes down. And Kerrigan with a triple, baiting it out. He saw that coming. Such an intelligent player, Kerrigan. Dead Fox, though, that's a shot you can't miss, man. You got to get the kill there. Now there's the flash. Kill blind. Hopes to get the headshot, but it's not meant to be. Kerrigan's still alive. But again, this is that scenario. This time Kerrigan has done it. He's dropped the bomb up in B Halls. Yeah, very hard to recover this one, obviously. Flick not going to connect. But I think I think Kerrigan actually faked him out. He, he ran just as he got the kill to pretend he was going to jump out. And then he went back for it anyway. Angel with the headshot taking down Kerrigan. And suddenly it is interesting again. 43 seconds on the timer. Two versus two, there is a flank coming in as well. Rain 
right behind them. They don't know yet, but they're getting sandwiched in. Alu, right on the other side. So they've got them perfectly boxed. 30 seconds. They need the bomb plant, and they need to turn around for rain eventually. Angel not realizing yet. Stiko's gone down, and now it's a one on two. At least they got the bomb plant down. There's the headshot from Angel. He goes for the spray. He gets it. Angel saving his team and the crowd. Up some of the basics. So. Not dishonest about that. Carrigan goes down next three versus four. What a shot from Dead Fox. Taking down Rain. And now it's exciting. They were almost losing the bomb side. Dead Fox gets the kill on Alu. And another one comes in. Quad kill for Dead Fox. Now from Nico back over towards that A site. He's traded places with Rain. Rain holding close. And Rain about to see some action here. So far back. Walking into the smoke. Easy kill for Rain. Does get shot on the side of the head by Bondic. And up on the high ground, Nico. Not hearing the bomb plant, so finally Hellraisers have something going their way. Kerrigan scoping up a lot in the back. They should be able to hear that he's back here, so he's got to be careful. And now up on the train as well. Does he see the shadow? I think he finally did, but he doesn't get the flick. Bondic with a double kill instead. Kerrigan not really aware of what's going on, and Bondic still taking the fight. He gets the quad kill, in fact. And now it's Alu, last one left. Bondic comes up. He wants the ace. He's going to get it. All five players. I mean, just showing themselves, that's locked. Three players still on the B site. We need some headshots here from Device if they're going to hold. Kierby's already delivered one, but Guardian eventually hunts down Device. It's all on Kierby right now. He's doing all the work. Another two pistol headshots for him. There's no time. They've already lost the round. They did that on the first headshot from Kierby. Guardian is going to get great exit frags and a fourth one coming in. A quad kill for Guardian. But the time... WP missed time, though. He looks toward Palace. Clave's already made it in. Emmerich Ward goes for the bomb plant. Bait out the shots. Didn't fancy the bomb. He didn't at all, and I'm not sure why. Perhaps that, that's why. Because Kerrigan gets in through connector. They'll get Kierby back. Plant may have been a better option, but they were worried that the AWP would spot them. And Bomb will go down as Device finds himself in a one versus two. Tapped to 28 now. 12 and Keo should be able to spray it, but they get the bomb plant. That's the important aspect in this pistol round at this point. He's got an AWP. Up. Uh oh. Misses the jump, gets back up though. Smoke off, immediately in front. Is this low enough? Yeah, it is. Like he's going to get on ticket. He's going to miss the... Oh, he nails it. He actually got back in time. He could go against, aggressive against Kiyoshima. Knows he's got to go wide side of the smoke. Sees the bullet. Here's the footsteps. Can't overcommit, though, and give himself up in this... Impressive. Alu flashed off, though. Are they expecting him? Quick to the corner as a result, but has to back away. The op alone for Alu. Armor for Rain. Alu getting in position. They know it's there. They know it's up, but they don't know it's directly inside of the site. Kerrigan follows it. What a shot, Alu, as he turns to his right. And it's all phase. And they've got a second gun picked up. Kerrigan had the AWP. Rain gets one on Glaive. But it's a one versus four for Device. Knows Alu's on the site. It's going to push him out with the Molotov. Looks away at the wrong time. Alu missing the shot, however. Bails Device out in that sense. A little bit of luck. Bomb, however, still down, and they continue to push. Lots of noise. Three of them there. Device could do nothing. Slow pace now as they sit a man down, but with Bomb being planted. Kerrigan has 22 HP to work with. Kiyoshima, not sure which side of the window to be on. On the fence, you could say, as he does burrow his way back into control. Kerrigan jumps up, eight shot, but overlooks the position. That's going to bring this back level. And Device now knows the pressure on to try and find an opening in toward the site. Has information on one, but not Kerrigan. And that 10 HP, this position could work, but Glaive catches him out. The headshot potential certainly existed. It's on to Keo to try and pull it back. Speaking of headshot, nearly finds another, but then headbutts the nade. They're going to line up. Meat shield Ooh. position! Nearly pulls it off, but Glaive gets the it. kill. He's got 10 seconds. He doesn't have it at all. Face Clan's going to pull this back. It's the round one, just barely. And a second time that they kill before a bomb could go. And there's a double fake back towards A they go, but the bomb will actually make its way back towards the B side. Time ticking away. They really need to make up their minds here. They're just going to be forcing their way into B. Carrigan, if he can find one, he might secure the round. He cannot get it. And the B side's open, but Alu, the last line of defense. Shots from Alu, not landing. Goes to the corner behind you, Box, and does finally hit one. That's going to cue them back in. Rain's going to go. They make it work. What a play from Alu. B side of the map. Difficult position to walk from. He goes back towards Emo here. The bomb's there for now, but look at the rap coming in towards Archside as well. Carrigan looking to find Glaive. He knows he's only on the 5 7 here. This exchange could decide it. Especially if he opens up the archway. Super Keo starts off Keo, Carrigan. Go, excuse me, Kierby goes down. Good response from Dupree. And they are bringing the bomb back over toward A. They're going to try and take quad side. It's just Glaive with his 5 7. Huge position to be in. In fact, it's two 5 7s and an off. Headshots, but no kills. Alu yeah. with the bomb going down. May have done it for FaZe. Zipix will start the way. And Dupree, or rather, excuse me, Device this time. 
And that trip over the D's is going to be very late. Crowd's loving it for FaZe. Nico the addition, Kerrigan the in-game leader. They finally look more oh. tame. What a shot though from Zipix. He'll go on to the AK. And Device needs to be extremely good on the way through. Knows one's in the corner, hits it! Incredible, but no way, it's done! They take down Device, Zipix is found in FaZe Clan. Таких шотландских гор издалека увидел я твой обзор Который мигом повергал врагов и сторожил и помнят до сих пор Когда был еще инцом, кто был примером нам и чей примером шел саунд Тебя не видно уже 20 лет, ты куда пропал, Маклауд, ну как?